Many horse owners understand what a nuisance flies and other insects can be to their animals during the summer. In the following program, we will look at some of the types of flies a horse owner should watch for, be aware of, and learn the best methods of control. To start, let's take a look at a few of the most common flies that horses and their owners will encounter. Both male and female stable flies feed on blood and are persistent feeders that irritate host animals. Individual flies may feed more than once a day. Peak feeding activity is early morning and again in the late afternoon. Stable flies prefer feeding on lower parts of legs and the bellies of horses and cattle. Fly larvae develop in excrement mixed with straw, soil, silage, or grain, but also are found in wet straw, hay, grass clippings, and poorly managed compost piles. Large round hay or straw bales that are in contact with moisture also may serve as a larval development site. The entire life cycle from egg to adult for a stable fly generally takes three weeks. Sanitation around the stable or corral is very important to controlling the stable fly. Manure management and timely cleaning up of potential breeding sites will help in controlling the stable fly. Modification of the drainage around corrals to reduce excess moisture can eliminate fly production sites and make chemical control efforts more successful. Chemical control consists of applying residual insecticides to resting sites where stable flies can be found after they take a blood meal. These fly resting sites are sides of buildings, corral fences, stall areas, and wall surfaces of other structures. Knockdown sprays are effective in killing adult flies present at the time of application. The knockdown chemicals are usually short-lived and require frequent applications. Direct animal application products usually have short residual activity and must be reapplied frequently. A number of parasites and predators are commonly available that can help reduce fly numbers. Horse and deer flies are large flies which can inflict painful bites on horses. Several species may become abundant enough to cause a problem for grazing horses, particularly horses that are pastured near streams or low wet areas. Since the bite from these flies is rather painful, horses may become restless and unmanageable when they try to ward off attacks by these flies. Immature larval stages of these flies are aquatic or semi-aquatic. Life cycles are long, most species have only one generation per year, and some species may have a two-year life cycle. Only female flies feed on blood. Control is very difficult. Individual animal treatments using repellents or insecticidal sprays may reduce fly bites. Black flies or buffalo gnats are small, 1 12th to 1 15th of an inch long, hump-backed, biting flies which may have high populations in the spring and early summer, particularly in pasture areas along streams. The immature stages are found in flowing water. Pupation occurs underwater and the adults float to the surface ready for flight, feeding, and mating. Adults feeding on horses can pose a serious health problem and the irritation caused by the black fly bites can make horses unmanageable. Black fly feeding may cause anemia in the horse when the black fly population is high. Bites may cause severe reactions such as toxemia and anaphylactic shock. These reactions can result in death. Control is difficult. Species which feed in the ears of horses can be controlled using insecticidal applications or by using petroleum jelly in the interior of the horse's ears. When possible, horses can be stabled during the day and pastured at night. Black flies only feed during the daylight hours and usually do not enter stable areas. Area sprays or general topical applications of insecticides are not very effective. The face fly is usually a pest of grazing cattle. However, when horses are pastured with or close to cattle, or when face flies are numerous, these flies will feed on secretions around the eyes of horses. Adult face flies look much like house flies. The face fly does not bite, but the persistent feeding of the fly makes it a nuisance pest. The face fly can mechanically transmit parasites or pathogens to the horse. Control of face flies is difficult. Relief can be obtained by stabling horses during the daytime when the face fly feeds. 
Pasturing horses separately from cattle will lessen the incidence of these flies on horses. Topical insecticide applications are usually not effective because the face flies spend little time on the host. The housefly is found both inside stables and on the animals themselves. Houseflies are an immediate concern to the animal industry because they can be mechanical vectors of human and animal disease. Housefly damage to horses is from annoyance caused by persistent feeding on the muzzle, eyes, and open wounds. Animals become nervous, restless, and reduce food intake. Control of houseflies includes sanitation and moisture control. Manure should be removed and disposed of every four to five days in the summer. The ideal method of disposing manure is to spread it on land where it can be used as fertilizer. Chemical controls may be applied as larvicides, baits, residual sprays, and space sprays. Now let's take a look at some of the measures a horse owner can take to protect their animals and control the flies that are so bothersome. An effective fly control program uses several strategies to control fly breeding sites and adult flies. Fly control strategies include using good sanitation practices, mechanical or physical barriers such as screens, biological predators, and insecticides as a supplement to other strategies. Good sanitation practices help to eliminate fly breeding sites. Eliminating breeding sites is the key to a successful fly control program. Following good sanitation practices for feedstuffs, manure management, stall bedding, and watering sites can help to eliminate or reduce fly breeding sites. Sawdust and wood shavings produce less flies than straw. Replacing the bedding twice a week is a good practice. Mechanical or physical barriers such as masks, sheets, or screens can be used to prevent flies on animals as well as in stalls and tack rooms. Fly sheets, masks, leg guards, and belly covers can protect horses from fly bites. Some companies have biological controls including fly parasites or predators to help with adult fly control. Insecticides work in controlling adult flies. They do not address the problem of fly breeding sites. Insecticides are used as a supplement to the other control strategies. Some insecticides last from only a few hours to a few days. There are many different types of insecticides that may be used for protecting horses or buildings from flies. Insecticides are pesticides. Remember that pesticides in any form can be harmful to humans and animals. Read and follow label directions very carefully. I'm Sarah Ellicott with the University of Nebraska Lincoln Extension. Dave Boxler and Steve Tun, also of UNL Extension, help write this program.